What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of the NATO vs. Warsaw Pact group build. Today, we are going to be finishing off our SU-15, so I'm very excited. Let's jump right in. Now, last time, I overcoated everything with a nice gloss coat of future. That is cured. We are ready for decaling and, of course, any sort of weathering. We also have to go ahead and install some of the fidgety parts, like the antennas that come off the wing, and then, of course, the front nose. We have to do a little bit of work on the underside of the aircraft. We need to run some panel line accents around the wheel wells and the wheel bay doors and all that good stuff. And then we have to put on our ordnance, like our missiles and our gun pods. So we're looking pretty decent. We're going to push forward and get this thing finished. Now our missiles look great. They're all nicely gloss coated as well as our gun pods. And we have our antennas here for the nose and for the wing. So we are right on task with that. The next thing that we have to do is we have to go ahead and, like I said, do a little bit of panel line accent washes, work on those wheel wells. And then, of course, we have to do the decaling. And that's going to be a little tedious because there's a lot of decals. And I'm not really sure how accurate they are. And the instructions are not that helpful on where to place them. So we're going to have to just go ahead and push forward and see what we can do. Let's go ahead and jump into that time lapse. Let's get this thing going. Thank you. 
All right, everybody, we are back and our SU-15 is now on SU decaled. And I got to tell you one word on the decals, they weren't that great. I lost several just by putting them in water. They just splintered and shattered apart. Others seemed to be kind of sliced and they came off in strips instead of the entire piece. I'm not sure what that's all about, but we have them on and well, they are what they are. I also noticed that some of the shapes and designs are a bit suspect. For example, the front of the intakes, we have these large warning symbols. These are way too big. They should be a lot smaller and a bit more compact, but they're just too big here on the model. Plus, we have all these red symbols everywhere, all these placards and whatnot and stencils. I don't really think that those would have been on the actual aircraft. At least I haven't found references to state that. I did take my liberties here and I put on some decals here onto the gun pods. Not really accurate, but I do know gun pods usually had some form of marking, so this will work for right now. And I also threw a few extras here and there onto the missiles. Also not correct, but who cares at this point, right? Let's just go ahead and make it look interesting. So now we have to go ahead and come back and we need to do a little bit of weathering. And I don't plan on doing anything too heavy on this aircraft. A lot of my references show that these things were pretty clean, a bit doled down, so there wasn't much of a sheen, but I think a nice semi-gloss coat will help that a lot. So let's go ahead and go back into that time lapse, guys. Get this thing finished up, get the missiles done, get the weathering powders applied, and we will be good to go. Let's get it done. Thank you. 
right, everybody, we are back. And after 14 very long episodes, we have finally finished our 148 scale trumpeter SU-15 Flagon A. So I wanted to go ahead and show you our finished product. And to be honest, I'm happy to have built this kit, but I don't think I'm going to build an SU-15 for a good long while. I still have to build the TM and also the UM, but I'm going to wait on those for sure. Let me go ahead and bring it out here and show you how it turned out. This kit was tough. It really, really fought me at every step of the way. I'm used to kits kind of pushing back a little bit and having a few issues, but this one, oh man, everything from panel lines to seams to incorrect shape to missing details, just a lot of stuff that just not the greatest. But overall, the kit is finished. I like how it looks. I've got the gun pods on. I've got the missiles on. We've got our antennas on. Everything looks decent enough for what it is, and I'm pretty happy with it. That doesn't mean it was easy though, and boy, where do I start, right? On well, the front of the aircraft, we did a lot of scratch building in the cockpit area. We both worked on the ejection seat, on the windscreen, even on the behind the pilot seat. In that little rear decking, we did a lot of work back there, scratch building, and I think it looks okay for what it is. Way better than having nothing there at all. We did a little bit of work on the wheel wells, of course, adding in wires and cylinders and whatnot. We did a lot of rescribing to make sure that we didn't have glaring panel lines right in the middle of the fuselage. We did a little bit of work here on the rear tail. We made sure that it fit in there. We smoothed it out, sanded it down, and I think it looks okay. Did a lot of work on the underside of the aircraft as well, just like on the top. There was a seam that ran right down the center of the aircraft, and of course, there's panel lines that come right across that. So we need to go ahead and rescribe, and we did a decent job. It's not perfect. There's a lot of little issues here and there, but for the most part, it looks looks okay. Also, I could have come back and added in some brake lines and whatnot, but I really didn't want to fool with that. I just wanted to get it done. And besides, you're not really going to see them, and I couldn't find a really good reference photos to show me what they would have looked like. So I just left them off. It's fine. I used Allclad Duraluminum for the major silver color. I also used a very, very light misting on certain panels of Allclad Jet Exhaust. I just wanted to go ahead and kind of tone those down a little bit and give them a slightly different shade of metal to give it some variation. I think it's a decent effect. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But I think overall, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out, knowing that this kit was not easy, and it just basically fought me at every step of the way. It's not easy to build out of the box. It probably need to have a little bit more work done to it. It would really benefit from a resin insert for the cockpit, probably better wheel wells, and then maybe a photo etched set for the wheel well doors, which are completely incorrect in terms of shape. Could also use some better missiles, maybe some resin missiles that would have a bit more detail and a bit more of the nuances of those individual weapons. And then of course, gun barrels on the gun pods aren't the greatest. I did drill those out, but they still could have used a little bit of detail. So overall, building this for the NATO versus Warsaw Pact group build was a lot of fun. I don't think I would have really started this kit without that group build to kind of push me in the right direction. So I'm glad I was able to pull this one out and give it a shot. Yes, the kit is difficult, and yes, there was a lot of issues that I had to go ahead and try to correct. And I'm not that skilled when it comes to scratch building and all of that. I love doing it, but I need a lot more practice, to be honest. But this kit ended up okay. It's not going to win any awards. It's not perfect, but I honestly like how it's turned out. And I think I'm showing improvement in terms of my overall building. But that wraps up this series. Thank you so much for sticking it out here, watching all 14 episodes. I really do appreciate that. This was a great experience. Even though challenging, I really had a lot of fun. And I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the entire process. So we will go ahead and and see you back here on the next episode. I'm not really sure what I'm going to build, but I'm going to do some work on that, figure it out, take a little bit of a break, and then we'll be back with another build and another season of Ben Builds. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Until then, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back on the next episode. Take care.